So in Character Animator, what happens is that all of the files are uh, actually stored out by itself. That means it's saved, that is, it's auto-saved every time. So if we were to close out Character Animator, for example, let's just close this out and open out Character Animator again. Let's see what happens. So the same project will load up. So over here, Character Animator is being opened up and you can see that same project just loaded up right over here. If you want to select any other project, you can simply go on to home and select from the recent project right here or go to open project as well. So now let's just let's just go over here and now see how the uh, file structure is in while storing out files from Ca Adobe Character Animator. So to save out a file that is to make a copy, simply go to file. There is no save option right here because as it says, it's always saved as you can see right here. What you can do is save the project as. So let me just click on save project as and then I'm going to go on to my desktop and over here I'm going to create a new folder called TutuTube just like this and then inside the folder I'm going to save the project as TutuTube and hit save just like this. So all the assets will be copied out and will be saved. Character Animator is not only one single file, it's a bunch of assets collected together. So now everything has been saved onto this folder right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open this out right over here and see the file folder structure. So let's just go inside and over here you can see that these are the file folder structure that is there. So there's the uh, the character project right here which is the main file then inside there's the character media and there's gathered media a lot of these things are here as you can see and a PSD file for the character so you can open this out individually using Photoshop so I'm just going to go around here open it out with Photoshop and then it will be opened out similarly over here you, you'll be able to see character data right here like there's artworks and everything else and that is not something that we work around these are uh, specifically the character, animator files and everything else. But PSD file is something you can work around over here individually in Photoshop. So Photoshop is opening up over here as you can see and the character uh, will be loaded. This character will be loaded in Adobe Photoshop over here. So Photoshop is loading on the side just like that and you can see the same character right here. All right. So same character is here as you can see and then it has been divided it into uh, multiple layers just like that. So that is how uh, character animator files are stored and individual files can be edited as well. You can make changes and the changes will reflect over here as well. So we're going to learn more about how the file structure is, how we can work around with different elements of the character in further lessons to come. So hope you guys uh, learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.